I love engineering because I get the opportunity to find out how things work. I get to take things apart. I get to properly get my hands mucky, which I love. I get to try things out and establish the best solution for a problem and to make the best product at the end of the day. Human factors is the same thing as ergonomics. Um, so that is making sure the vehicles are comfortable, making sure that the users, so the soldiers, can reach all the controls, making sure they can get out of the tank if the tank gets hit, but generally making sure they can use the vehicle to the best of their abilities in as comfortable an environment as we can provide them. I get to work with the end user. I get to see a product be improved and made better for our users, and I get to see that go out the door. And knowing that I've made a difference to someone's day-to-day -day life, that is very important to me. Also, being able to make a tangible difference, like a soldier will say to me in a workshop, oh, can we adjust that panel? And then we've adjusted it, and it makes a massive difference in that they can use it that much easier. What I think is key to being a woman in this industry is to forget that maybe you'll be odd one out. The longer you spend doing the best you can do and proving to them you're just as good as them, the more people will forget that, oh, she's a woman, she stands out. And eventually, they've said to me, oh, you're one of the boys. And part of me is like, no, I'm a woman. But part of me is like, no, that's perfect. They've forgotten what they think divides us. We're all just the same. We're all just as good at being engineers. There is no reason why a woman shouldn't be an engineer. And this is what I try and get across when I go out into schools. I work with the Women in STEM Committee here at Lockheed Martin Amtel. Um, and we do school visits, we mentor local children to give them that confidence that yes, they can be whatever they want to be and if that's an engineer, fantastic, go for it.